In 1953, Dr. Friedrich Jungheinrich developed a new forklift, the Armizer. Today, it's synonymous with an entire field of technology. It's the day of reckoning for the most ambitious restoration project in the company's history. Today, the 1955 Armizer will shine again in all its glory. The larger components have all been attached. I think we've managed the hard part. We'll probably have a few small issues to deal with, and so we just have to make sure we can cope with any last-minute surprises. Luckily, we're at Jungheinrich. This is the headquarters of the spare parts warehouse, where the standard parts are stored. With these, we can replace the screws, nuts and washers that have been lost for whatever reason, or that can't be used anymore because they've been worn down. But the most important parts come from the historical archive. More than 60 years old, these components are not only unique, they are the original pieces used to build the 1955 Armizer. You have to take your hat off to what they achieved back then. This was one of the first electrically powered forklifts that the driver could sit in. At Jungheinrich, a fascination for forklift technology is part of everyday life. Again, we've set out to do something exceptional, and we're slowly reaching our goal. Company history brought back to life. For everyone at Jungheinrich, it's a fascinating achievement. The hard work has paid off. The Armizer 55, after more than 60 years, as good as new, as good as Jungheinrich. The vehicle was actually launched in 1953, so it's possible that there's an even older model around somewhere. That would be an exciting discovery. To be continued?